Hello, good morning all. Today in this video, we are going to discuss regarding how to configure automatic backup for your Odoo instance. So we all know that data is very important in ERP and every business. So it's good to have a backup of a system always. So let's see how we can configure automatic backup for your Odoo instance using a free module available in the Odoo App Store. So here you can see this is the module database auto backup and it's available for free from version 8 to version 15. So I have already downloaded this module and I have added it to my Odoo 14 instance. So if I go to PyCharm, here you can see this is my custom add-ons path. Here I have auto backup module from Entei and I have already added it to, the, it to my add-ons path. So if I go back to Odoo instance and this is my Odoo 14 instance and if you go to the apps menu, you can see this module. So what you have to do is that you have to go to the Odoo app store and download this module and add it to your Odoo instance. So in order to install this module, make sure that you have installed these packages. That is, you can see you have to install two Python packages. That is one is Paramico and PYSFTP. So you have to install this Python package Paramico and PYSFTP. That packages has to be installed. So I have already installed those packages. Now what I'll do is that I will install this module in my database. So I'll install the module in my database. So it will install fast. So you can see the module has been successfully installed. So the module has been installed. Now we have to do some configuration. So what I'll do is that I'll go to settings and I will activate the debug mode. So from the settings, I'll activate the debug mode in the database and you can go to settings, then to the technical. And if you scroll down, you will see a new menu called configure backups. You can see backups and you have option called configure backups so simply click on this menu and click on create so this is the configuration that we have to do you have to specify the host name so currently my instance you can see it's local host so either you can give local host it, it, or you can give your host name then database name so my, i have to take the backup of my current db that is 14 db that is my database name and port number so you can see i am running on 8014 so you have to specify the port number that is my port is 8014 and you have the option of backup type zip or dump so you can choose accordingly so i'll keep backup type as zip and you have to specify the backup directory so right now we are configuring a local backup that is we are keeping the backup in the same machine itself so you have to specify its path so in order to get backup so this is my local instance so what i'll do i'll create a new folder here backup so i'm going to store my backups or automated backup to this folder so i have to specify its path so simply i have created a new backup folder and i'll copy its path home dev odoo 14.0 and i'll paste it here backup directory is this is the path home dev odoo 14.0 backup so i have specified its path and if you need to remove the backups after a particular days like seven days you can enable this auto remove backup after seven days so it's it will keep backup for seven days and it will automatically remove so we will have only backup of last seven days in our hand so that's done so simply click on save so this is how we can configure the local backup and if you need to store the backup to an external server so if you wish to have more backup like if the entire server itself get crashed you should have a backup so in order to that you can store it to a separate server so write external server with sftp so you are going to keep backup in a separate server so you can put the server address here port number username of the server password and you have, similarly you have to specify in which path you have to keep the backup and remove after 
particular days so you can configure those details here so right now i'm not going to do that i'm simply showing you how to make a local backup configuration so i have entered these details click on save so we have done this configuration now what we have to do we have to go to scheduled action so from the same technical menu you can go to scheduled action and here you will find a action called backup scheduler if you don't find you can search backup here in the search bar then it will not list because it's inactive you can search for archived backup open this and first of all what you have to do you have to make it active so i'll click on this toggle active and save so currently you can see it will run on every day that is how frequent you have to take the backup or if you need to take get the backup only once a week or once a month you can configure accordingly so it's good to have a daily backup so i'll keep execute every one day and if you need to adjust the execution time so currently you can see current time is coming here if you need to configure the daily backup at midnight you can change from here that is at 000 that's at midnight you can configure like this and click on save so the configuration has been done now at this time daily it will automatically execute and you will have your backup inside this folder so you can see you've got a backup now so let me remove this so right now it's empty it has been already run right now it's empty and if i click on run manually you will see you will get an automatic backup if you go to this folder you can see the backup has been generated and if you open or if you open this i'll just click on extract here and if you open this you can see file store dump etc you are getting so you can see another backup has been generated so this is how you can configure automatic backup in odoo so let me remove this let me remove all this data create a backup folder specify its path so if you go to the let me duplicate this tab and if i go to schedule configure backups you have to specify host name database name port number backup type create and specify the backup directory make sure that odoo current running user has access to this directory and remove after particular days and if you need to write to external server you can enter these details over here and there are a lot of other free modules in odoo app store which provides to do a backup to amazon ss3 or to a google drive there are free modules available for that you can try using that too so this is how you can configure a local backup and if you need to have further backup if you search backup in odoo app store and if you search for free modules you will have a lot of free modules like auto backup to dropbox assist s3 backing up auto backup to google drive and you have a lot of options so you can check those so i'll add the link of this module in my description section and from that you can download and install this module and if you have any doubts feedbacks or suggestions don't hesitate to reach us over the email that is odomates at gmail.com and feel free to connect us in the social medias so that's it for the day have a nice day thank you